In this example, we're going to calculate the absolute value for the complex number 3 minus 4i. So I want to show you a couple of things. First of all, we have a nice formula. The absolute value of any complex number, a plus bi, is going to be given by the square root of a squared plus b squared. And where does this come from? Well, it comes from our complex plane because we can plot any complex number in the complex plane where the horizontal axis is the real number line and the vertical axis is the imaginary number line. So 3 minus 4i will be 3 units over, 4 units down, and we have this point, 3 minus 4i, and so the absolute value, remember, just measures the distance a number is from the origin. So we'll go ahead and do this little dashed line. And this length right here is what we're looking for. That's the absolute value or the distance. Also for complex numbers, it's called the modulus. So let's go ahead and use the formula. And we, here's the kind of graphical representation. So a plus bi. So a plus bi. So it looks like my a is 3 and my b is negative 4. So let's go ahead and just plug these values in. 3 squared plus negative 4 squared should end up being the square root of 9 plus 16, which of course is the square root of 25, which is a nice number. That's just 5. So we're saying the absolute value of the complex number 3 minus 4i is 5, and that's the length of this line right here.